Doom Patrol is a show that gets nowhere near the attention and the praise that it deserves. In this video, I will try to highlight exactly why I think Doom Patrol is different and why it needs to be seen by any and all sci-fi and comic book fans. Now, before Doom Patrol, let's talk a bit about a movie called The Mars Attacks, directed by Tim Burton. While the movie itself is a parody, it is also a celebration of science fiction. Now, consider this. In a typical alien invasion movie, we see the attack of hordes of aliens led by a general who wants to take over our planet for our resources or to conquer us or simply to wipe out the entire human race because we were apparently not good enough. Now, Mars Attacks questions this very premise. Throughout the movie, we never understood what the hell the Martians wanted. They never spoke a word in English or any other known language. Sometimes they seemed to love to kill humans. Some of them even planted their flags claiming the land. Some had a lot of fun watching human couples making out. And others dissected humans, joined a human girl's head with the body of a dog, and they did whatever their mad science allowed them to do. Now, while their technology appeared to be invincible, for some goddamn reason, their heads literally exploded when they heard a song called The Indian Love Call. Now, this weirdness, this story where we have really journeyed into the unknown and the fact that we cannot possibly predict what's going to happen next. This approach was almost forgotten. In a day and age where comic-based movies and sci-fi films have become far more rooted into action and mythology, we have lost a very important part, imagination. Now, some writers prefer to explore hyper-realistic societies and worlds on a grand scale, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the approach behind pure sci-fi movies, like 2001 or Arrival, is getting overshadowed by movies and series with generic stories and paper-thin plots. But it is up to us, the viewers, to praise what deserves praise and give credit where credit is due. Now, I can appreciate series like Superman and Lois, The Boys, or WandaVision for being all about the characters, but in recent times, only Doom Patrol has shown me the spirit of a true sci-fi series, even with its comic book background. The influence of the Mastro Grant Morrison will be clear to any comic book fan who watches it. The story the acting, the visuals are all impeccable. But what truly makes Doom Patrol different is a boss fight between a rat and a cockroach which ultimately turns into a big fat smooch. Or that they are all admittedly inside of a comic book and they can travel to the white space of each page where there are no pictures, no stories, just the edge of the fabric of their fictional universe. And even in the midst of all these absurdities, there are true people. People who are damaged, who have suffered. Most of the members are immortal, but they see their life as endless suffering. And somehow, miraculously, the show connects us, the viewers, with these people. What makes Doom Patrol different is the fact that these unrelated story elements which ideally cannot possibly work together, works just fine somehow. Some things in life cannot be put to words. Doom Patrol is definitely one of them. It is beyond my capabilities to pinpoint exactly why Doom Patrol works and is probably the best comic-based series ever made, but here we are. So, if you have had enough of the old wine in a new bottle, then do give this series a chance. And maybe, just maybe, this approach will be preferred over the generic action comedy. Thanks for watching.